Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. I just want to give you guys an update. Uh, I didn't mention the fact that uh, I lost a few videos uh, according to my voodoo staff and for some reason I just found them, okay? So I transferred them to the computer and I'm going to go ahead and recreate the video showing you what I plan on doing with the staff as well as the progress of the staff. And like I said earlier uh, in my last video, if you're paying attention to it, uh, I need some ideas on how to finish the actual staff. Uh, I've got some few feathers on it and, you know, some uh, bones and stuff like that. But outside of that, I don't have a clue how to actually finish it. And with your help, hopefully we can get it off the ground, okay, because I need some ideas, okay. Uh, but anyway, I did find those videos and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually recreate uh, a video showing you those two videos and the actual finalized video if I still have it I'm pretty sure I can do it but anyway I'm going to show you that so I just want to give you guys a heads up on what it looks like so enjoy the video okay okay hello everyone welcome to pumpkin horror now today I am doing a do-it-yourself type project I am in the process of making a staff and I was initially going to make the staff a witchcraft type staff almost like a stang uh, but uh, I do have this thing out in the shed. Uh, I'm just going to leave it out there for now. But this here, this long pole that you see right here, I actually made this last year. And I sanded it down, but I could not find any ideas on how to decorate it until just recently. So what I did is I re-sanded it, and I turned around and stained it, but I also did this one little thing to it. Now I'm not sure if I still want to keep them on there because it don't kind of match what I want to do with this. This entire staff is going to be a voodoo type staff. As you can see right there, there is a shrunken head. So I definitely want to go that route. But as you can see right here along, I did burn some, um, not sigils, but they were more like symbols. Witchcraft type symbols. I am in the process and I will eventually sand these off. And then restating this again. But the ideal is to actually decorate this in the way where I'm going to put the actual shrunken head on top of the staff. And then incorporate it with some feathers as you see right here. Now what I do with these feathers here. Let me see if I can grab one without messing them up. Alright. Alright as you can see here. It's got bones on it but it's also got... Uh, three red beads on it, so it kind of uh, gives it that, you know, like that feathery look. But I got a bunch of them here. Now, what I needed to do with this here is actually I got to go out and buy some uh, leather strap, a real thin strap that I can actually glue like three of them together and then turn around and wrap them with the actual leather strap and somehow incorporate it in certain sections of this pole, which is the plan, but. Like I said, it's just a plan right now. It could change at any given time. I got this here. This is the actual leather um, um, kind of holder, which I'll wrap around the staff in certain sections. And then before I do all that, I'll probably incorporate feathers all the way down the pole and then just wrap that with this leather here and see what I can come up with. And I do got various beads and stuff like that. And I got these long feathers here. I definitely want to add those to it. So most of the feathers will be hanging right off the top of it, right around the, uh, sh the shrunken head here. Which I think is going to look pretty good. And I also got these extra feathers I might just add on the staff. It's still a work in progress, but this is what is happening so far. Uh, and I just bought these yesterday. They're bones, okay? They're like 12 bucks on Amazon. And as you can see, I did add them to the feathers along with the beads, okay? But that's the work right now. I'll let you know what's going on. Take you through it step by step. But right now, the ideals are there, but they're not there yet. I'll let you know what's going on. So stick with me on this. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Now, I just started decorating the staff because I had to get some um, string, as you can see right here, in order to cover up the feathers and stuff like that. And what I did is I put the zombie head on top of it. Oh, it's actually a, not a zombie head, but it's an actual shrunken head. And I think it looks pretty cool so far. But I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. And I got little red rubies on the, uh, uh, well, as well as uh, skeleton bones. 
And I got some long feathers on this thing. So far, it's a work in progress. Now, down here, as you can see, all right, that's still a work in progress, right? But it does have some feathers on it, okay? All right, so far, that's what she looks like. I'll show you what this thing looks like once it's finished, okay? But in the meantime, so far this is what I've got, okay? So with this in mind, I'm going to let you guys go for now as we slowly walk through this project, all right? But it is my um, kind of like a zombie staff, okay? I was originally going to turn it into a witch type uh, staff. It's voodoo or hoodoo type um, situations here. And that's pretty much what it is so far. It's the back of it right here. Okay. Alright. That is what she looks like so far, guys. All the way straight down. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. I will see you guys real soon. Be right back. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now, today I want to talk about my voodoo staff. Now, before we get into it, I did have a couple of progress video clips showing you what I did in order to decorate this do-it-yourself staff uh, but I since deleted it and didn't realize it so you're not going to be able to see those but I'm going to show you what the staff looks like so far okay so keep that in mind um, let's see with your help with this staff I don't feel it's completely uh, finalized if that's the word I want to use uh, because I don't honestly know what, what else to put on this thing I'm looking for the voodoo theme, okay, and maybe some skulls or something to put on it. I'm not sure yet, but with your help and your ideals, if you care to comment and let me know, uh, I want to finish this staff, but with your help, maybe I can do this. I need some ideals because I honestly don't know what else to put on this thing, and I've done some research on um, the internet, and I really didn't come up with anything definite. Okay, so hopefully with your help I'll be able to do that. And that's the main reason I'm doing this video, okay? Is to finish this staff. Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. Because, you know, honestly, I accidentally deleted those other video clips. But you'll, you'll get the idea. I mean, it is still a little naked in my opinion. But like I said, hopefully we can get this thing finished with your help, okay? So what I want to do is show you what the staff looks like. The thing's over six feet tall. So I'm going to have to show you from the side, okay? So we're going to start with the actual top of this thing. Now, as you can see, it is a shrunken head. I have another one, too. I think I got them from Spirit Halloween. Now, it does have parachute cord. That's what I wrapped the actual neck and incorporated the actual feathers. So, you know, just cover up the blemishes and stuff when you're gluing it to the staff, okay? Now, you'll notice that there is some bones. And it's got these three red rubies on it okay and that's one of the ideas and I also got the long tail feathers here okay and they're quite lengthy too okay now, as you can see this is what I got so far now I'm going to show you the bottom part okay it's the best way I know how to, to wrap this thing is that parachute cord. Now, you can get this at Hobby Lobby for like, you get 100 foot for like 8 bucks. You can't go wrong, okay? Now, <clears throat> the actual staff itself, I initially wanted to do uh, a witch's staff, but I since changed my mind. And I still got the actual emblems, or the, not the uh, sigils, but they're kind of uh, symbols. I show you like witchcraft type stuff. So I left it on there. I was going to actually cover it up, but it didn't look right, so I just kept it natural, you know what I'm saying? Now towards the bottom, middle of it, well, yeah, about middle, more of the uh, parachute cord, along with some of the feathers again, okay? And as I raise it all the way up, the rest of it's naked, okay? So uh, that's pretty much what I've got done so far on this staff. And what I initially did with this staff is I actually started working on it last year. 
and I wanted to do something with the staff, but unfortunately I ran, I, I couldn't come up with anything, so I just left it sitting in the shed for like a year. I've since resanded it and stained it, and uh, like I said initially, I wanted to do something with it, but it didn't work out that way because my mind went blank. I was like, what can I do with that staff? And I just left it there. I went out there about three weeks ago to make a witch's stang, which is kind of like a natural stick staff that has a V and usually has like an iron uh, nail in the, in the bottom of it where you can actually draw energy from the earth. Now keep in mind, I don't practice witchcraft, but I do collect the stuff that pertains to witchcraft because to me it's a Halloween aesthetic, okay? And it looks cool, okay? So, with that in mind, I was doing that and I was, like, I was looking at my staff and I'm like, let me do something with this one here because I wasn't too impressed with the witch's stang after I got done finishing it. It's still sitting out there in a the shed. So... I sanded it all down, I did what I had to do, and I had some video clips based on it, but I've since deleted them, I accidentally deleted them, didn't realize I did it, so, <clears throat> doing the progress uh, video on those, it's not going to happen, but you get an idea of what's going on with this thing, you use a lot of hot glue, okay, just to put the paracord on there, and to glue your feathers to the staff, and then wrap it with the paracord, but like I said, with your help, I, maybe I can incorporate some more stuff into the staff itself because to me it's just it looks naked okay and that's where i'm hoping you guys will help me out with that situation